new Bulgarian university is really on the cutting edge of cognitive science. I'm looking forward to a couple of days after the summer school to begin to explore Bulgaria. to participate in their cognitive science summer school. The people that I have met here as students have gone on to great things when they, they graduated from the program here. Uh, many of the students that I've interacted with have continued to collaborate with me on projects, uh, edited books, papers. One of the, the most exciting things about the program here is this is really to find out where the future of cognitive science is going. The students that I've interacted with when I've been here are really the future of cognitive science. Uh, they are the, the new pioneers. They're where the direction of cognitive science will be going. Let's dance. I go, I go. Let, let's dance. Cognitive neuroscience is a, a field in which we build, analyze, and test computer simulations of the function of the brain. My work combines behavior, neuroimaging, molecular genetics, um, and other approaches to try to better understand executive functions and to try to help. My students and I currently are working uh, with capuchin monkeys and squirrel monkeys. I'm Roger Thompson. I'm a professor at Franklin Marshall College, trained both as a psychologist and a zoologist. By studying different species, we can begin to get an understanding of evolutionary principles and their effect on the convergent evolution of common cognitive processes. My name is David Knoll. I am an assistant professor of computer science and cognitive science at the University of California, Merced. My work has to do with computational cognitive neuroscience. I'm Adele Diamond. I'm at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. My field is developmental cognitive neuroscience. My specialty are the executive functions, the cognitive functions that depend on prefrontal cortex. I'm very excited about this field. As computer power becomes more powerful, we're able to develop more and more sophisticated computer models that help us understand more and more about how the simple physical processes of the brain can give rise to all of the wonders of cognition. This has been a great experience for me, as it has been every time that I've come. I've had a lovely time here. It's been great to have students from all over the world, from all the different continents, to get their different perspectives, to hear what they're interested in. This is a wonderful place, it's a wonderful environment, and I plan to keep coming back. <laughs>